Hi everyone, this is Phil Healy, I'm the Public Access Coordinator here at NORCAM. And we're here to talk about uh, something we've uh, talked about before and had a program about before. It's the uh, Performing Artist Series, brought to you by the uh, North Reading Community Coffee House uh, and the Friends of the Flint Memorial Library. And we also have a representative from the transcript here, who actually has done a story on the band and is pretty uh, integral in um, getting the word out about uh, the Performing Artist Series. But uh, let me, so let me introduce you to uh, the, I would like to say the head honcho uh, performing artist series. Well, we started it. Yeah. Started well, no, but you were a, 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 quite a pillar in uh, in this thing. Art okay. Grossman, Art, hello, and we have uh, Allie Hastings from the Transcript, hello. Hi. You know? And you're kind of a legacy member here at Norcam by <laughs> by uh, yeah by kind of a uh, well, you were here with your your brothers. Yeah, they kind of started stuff. it. Yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. But yeah, you were here. You share the same blame. And achievement, of them, <laughs> say, so. but uh, no, no, it's great to have you both here and talk about this because this you. is a great thing in the community. Yeah, which has been going on. How many years has this been going uh, on? It, it started in April of 2016, so a little over three years. Oh my God! It, now, I didn't the, even know the coffee that house has, has been going on and since uh, April of 2016. The oh, wow. performing artist series is uh, since last year, since last October. I'll talk about. So that. yeah, what? Uh, however you want to go. I, I would it, love to start with what is the difference between the coffee house and the performing artist series. Okay, well, the l let me let me go. With the, I'll oh, go yeah. through it, and, oh, yeah, I, and, yeah, I, and yeah. I'll you'll you'll get a sense of it. The <clears throat> the performing artist series started in uh, in uh, I think October of 2018. The um, the coffee house started in April of 2016, and uh, the coffee house was was an effort to bring a program into North Reading, into the community, actually into the community and surrounding communities, uh, that would um, bring performers, open mic people, uh, into uh, a very uh, welcoming atmosphere, a listening room uh, where, uh, with in front of a very judgment-free, appreciative audience, just to perform. Uh, open micers like to perform, and uh, it started off slowly, but uh, it's it's really taken off. It, it started off as a two-hour event, uh, and it would go from seven to nine, and I would look out the, the into the parking lot. At, five minutes to seven and there was nobody there yeah. when we started. Uh, now it's a three-hour event and you have to sign up in advance to, to play. So it's really taken off. And this is all done as the Performing Artist Series, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, this is all done in, conjunct in conjunction with the Friends of the Flint Memorial Library. And um, money's raised through the, uh, at, at the coffee house through uh, sale of refreshments and any donations people make, uh, those monies go to the Friends of the Library, which uh, help support the various programs that they put on in conjunction with the library. So um, it's it, it's a win-win. I mean, the community gets a, a nice activity. It's free. Yeah. Uh, the performers get a, a nice place to play. Uh, we raise money for the Friends, which uh, is good for them and good for the library. So it really is. Um, it is a win-win. Um, and no, just not to jump on it, but also performers not just from North Reading show, but performers from all right. over. All over the place, yeah. I, I spend a lot of time at open mics and live performances, and I have cards that I give out. Mm -hmm. And my list of, my email blast each month uh, to performers uh, is now almost 200 performers. So, oh, wow. uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of people who hear about this, and um, we've gotten... It's an open mic, so you get all levels of performance. We don't yeah. care how, if you're good or bad. It doesn't matter. If you like to perform, we, we want you there. We're trying to get a little younger and a little bit more female yeah. uh, because open mics tend to be uh, older and male, yeah. and we'd like to change that, and we're ma having some success in no, that. No, I think you have a, <coughs> the singing poet, one of my favorites. Yep. Uh, yep. You, have a whole, you have a slew of yep. uh, youthful and mm -hmm. uh, female uh, performers. We're, we're, get, we're getting there. there. We'd, like yeah. to, we'd like to do a little bit more, but we're getting there. Yeah. Now... There's no question that the coffee house, f from the goals we set out, has been successful. And I and I would say, maybe maybe a year or so ago, I had the idea of maybe doing another program, um, another music-related program that would also 
uh, benefit the uh, Friends of the Library and the Library. And that, uh, it came to be called the Performing Artist Series. And again, that started in, 2000, in the fall of 2018. Uh, the goal of the Performing Artist Series was to bring professional level musical acts into the community and again to help raise money for the Friends of the Library to help support their programs. To be clear, the Performing Artist Series is in addition to the, mo the monthly coffee, coffee house, house yeah. that we've been running, as I said, for a little over three years. Uh, both the coffee house and the Performing Artist Series are held in the activity room of the Flint Memorial Library at 147 Park Street. The coffee house tends to be almost always on the third Saturday of the month, and uh, the Performing Artist Series, we do about three or four of those a year, so they're when we decide to do them. You have, uh, you've ranged from like Thursday, Friday to Saturday. For, for the Performing Artist yeah, Series? Yeah, yeah. We try, we try to do it on Saturdays because we feel we'll get the best yeah, number the crowd, of people, yeah. best crowd. But we've run them on Fridays and, and we would run them, it all depends on the performers and, and yeah. their availability. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to um, also say that uh, we started the Performing Artist Series in 2018, first with a group called the Twang Town Paramours, which was a husband and, their husband and wife duo from Nashville. Uh, and then they were followed, uh, that was in October, I think in November, uh, maybe December, I can't remember exactly the month. We had uh, a New Orleans Zydeco band called um, the Squeezebox Stompers. Mm -hmm. uh, both events provided really nice entertainment. We raised a good amount of money for the Friends of the Library. And then on this, this past April 12th, we had our third one with an a entertainer, a musician named Rupert Waits. And Rupert was terrific. He's a terrific writer, sings really well, and he's, he's off the charts as far as his skill as a guitarist. And uh, people have already talked to me about having Rupert back, and he and I have spoken nice. about maybe coming back sometime in, in, in 2020. Uh, and as I said, we, we plan to do three or four of these a year. Our next one uh, is August 3rd with uh, a musician named Rod Abernathy. He's also a very talented performer, but I'll get back to Rod in a, in a, in a minute. Uh, some information on, more information on the Performing Artist Series based on how we are required to do things uh, for these events. We are not allowed to sell tickets, but we ask for a suggested donation of $15, which is divided primarily among the performer and the friends of the library. Uh, if you're able to make the donation, that's terrific. If you can't, or you can't, you can't make it at all, or you can't make the fifteen dollars it doesn't matter we we want you to come to the event and enjoy the music uh, it's just if we have a suggested donation if that's if that's doable in your situation great if not no problem we still want you to attend and they can give more or less correct they can like, give whatever they want but yeah. we have a suggested a donation of fifteen dollars someone, not gives, obligated, yeah. someone gives us a check for a million dollars we will <laughs> take it sure. we will take it uh, i i will i will guarantee that you'll have a great uh, night of entertainment and uh, even if by some chance you don't like the entertainment we get really good desserts for these <laughs> for these, you do uh, actually you get some really good ones. desserts uh, for these uh, events and if you don't like the entertainment I know you'll love the desserts. Yeah, where do they, uh, can you say where you get them from? Yeah, we, yeah. we, get, we go uh, there's a place up in Newburyport mm. called Diane's Fine Desserts which used mm. to be Alden Merrill and uh, we, we, can get, we, can, we can get really good desserts, and uh, people are very happy with the desserts. Yeah, no, they're no, happy no. with the music, too, but of they're course, happy with the desserts. Um, I also want to mention that uh, we've had a lot of support for the Performing Artists Series within the community, and I don't mean just the people who attend. Uh, we've, asked some bi we've asked businesses to sponsor uh, the program so that we can hopefully continue it for some time. Uh, that just gives us some little extra money if we needed to help pay the performers. Uh, and I just wanted to take a minute to thank uh, the sponsors who, have, who are on board so far. They are the Reading Cooperative Bank, 
the Savings Bank, Winter Hill Bank, Moynihan Lumber, and Heavenly Donuts, they've all done their part to help make these events these, and these future events possible. We're always looking for more sponsors, so if anybody's watching this and they want to uh, uh, learn more about it, or you can always reach out to me. I don't know if you're going to put my... We well, can put your email. Oh, is yeah. that what you prefer? Yeah, or what do you prefer? My, my, my email, uh, my, you, you can reach me at nrcoffeehouse at gmail.com, and I will be happy to talk to you. Um, <clears throat> lastly, uh, I want to mention, I talk about the support from the community. Uh, I also wanted to mention that we've had really good support and a good partnership with this guy and everybody here at NORCAM. They've been, they've been great. They video our events. They make them available to the community uh, through uh, NORCAM on uh, channel uh, 26 on Verizon, I believe, and 8 on Comcast. And, uh, and then they eventually put, go on to YouTube, so you can, you can see them. Uh, also, uh, Maureen Doherty, the editor of the transcript, who gave us Allie to write the article, which she'll talk about in a, little, in a few minutes, she's been terrific. And the North Reading transcript's been terrific. We couldn't ask for better partners. Uh, and that's, um, that's important, that's a big factor in our, in, in our success. Now, uh, back to Rod, Rod Abernathy. Uh, he's the next artist that, that will be appearing on August 3rd. Uh, the show starts at 7.30, the doors open at 6.30. He'll be doing two sets, where there'll be a short in, uh, intermission for, for uh, so you can have some, some of those fine desserts we talked about. And uh, it, it, so, so that's coming up, and that's, we, we, we really want the community to come out and help, help support this. Uh, uh, as I've said in interviews here and other places, I go to a lot of live performances. I go to a lot of open mics. I see a lot of musicians. And I saw Rod for the first time at uh, what they call a showcase at Passim in Cambridge and was really impressed by him, by his singing, by his writing, by his wizardry on the guitar. Uh, these things stood out in my mind. Uh, I've seen him several times since then, and he's always put on a great show. Uh, so uh, again, I hope you come out. You won't be disappointed. He's a, it's a great evening of entertainment. And, uh, I, uh, and to that end, to help promote it, to help people hopefully learn more about Rod. Uh, uh, Ali, uh, uh, who, who uh, interviewed uh, Rod, uh, is writing a has written a story in the transcript, which hopefully will be out uh, in the, this week, whatever, whatever I'm, not, I'm not sure what date it is, but we're, we're right today it's the, uh, I think, 16th, 16th of, of July. August. Oh, of, July. Of July. Yeah, so, a couple of days. So it'll be out yeah. in a couple, hopefully be out in a couple of days. Uh, so Ali's going to talk about that in a minute. But if anybody out there wants to learn more about Rod Abernathy, you can go to his website, which is Rod Abernathy, that's A-B-E-R-N-E-T-H-Y, RodAbernathyGuitar.com, and you can see for yourself what a performer he is. All right. Well, just, uh, and I'll, thank you for uh, sharing that, Art. Sure. Just to clarify, uh, thank you also for the mention. Uh, to clarify, we actually volunteers put together or tape uh, Community Coffee House, and that's what NORCAM is. It's a series of volunteers and us as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, we appreciate the, the shout out and um, yeah, everything about it. So, Ali, now you're up. I apologize yeah. for uh, holding you. Holding you back. So yeah, you had a chance to talk to uh, the performer? Yeah, so it was really cool because I got to, I actually interviewed Art the day before I called oh. Rod on the phone. So I got to learn all about the Performing Artist Series and how it's run. And then I got to ask him about like his personal experiences with music. Um, and it was really cool what he told me about his backstory. It, he's kind of come full circle. Um, because he started as a folk musician in the 70s. And that's kind of oh. what he's doing now. Um, so. Yeah, so when he started in the 70s, he was just like a folk musician, kind of just playing on his own. And then in the 80s, he went on to play with like local rock and roll bands. Um, and 
actually at one point he was out in LA trying to get a record deal oh. with a producer and then um, his friend it was like encouraging him to audition for this talent show mm -hmm. called Star Search which oh, wow. you mentioned to me so I asked oh, him yeah, some you questions. And you, that, that's no real frame of reference for you. That's right, way, yeah. yeah. So he was telling me it's kind of like the American Idol of the 80s. It was, yeah. yeah. And the early 90s I think too. But more, yeah. mostly the 80s I believe, yeah. And so that was really interesting to hear yeah. about because he said that that was never like in his original plan to do that but um it was coming to his hometown so he was like yeah why not like i'll try it um so he auditioned and he actually got on and he was able to perform as a contestant on the show um but unfortunately he didn't make it that far um and the producer that was working with him like to get the record deal dropped him like once oh. he lost the show yeah. so yeah it was there kind of go. at that point he kind of felt like his dream was kind of falling to pieces, but the silver lining of it was that um, shortly afterwards he was offered a job back home in North Carolina to um, manage a recording studio. So he took that okay. job and then that's kind of how he got into composing music. Um, and he was telling me that he's composed like over 80 video game like scores. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, so if Anything, you... Uh I think Dead Space was one. Wow, really? Yeah, Dead There's Space. The, and the nerd in me coming out. Wow. <laughs> and he mentioned That's crazy. The Hobbit maybe was one of oh, them. Oh, wow. So if you look his name up on Google, I'm sure you could um, Well, that's kind of nuts. So not yeah. just to, I mean, throw it out there to the yeah. uh, the usual shut-ins if you want to come out and actually listen to the music live. I'm sure he was not going to play the score to Dead Space <laughs> at that, although yeah. it would be great. It's a great score. I don't think so. Oh, uh, no, but, but that's, that's yeah. a crazy... Yeah, and it was cool, and I kind of... In the article, I think I included a quote that he said that he acknowledged that that whole experience was the silver lining yeah. of it all, because um, that job offer may never have come up if, like, he stayed in L.A. or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then now he said that, like, about five years ago, he kind of just felt the calling to come back to folk music, and he wanted to perform, like, smaller venues again. So that's what he's been doing. He's been touring like the Northeast and um, doing gigs like the Performing Artist Series. So yeah, it was cool to see like how his experience came full circle and he's actually really happy like doing what he's doing now. Yeah. So, no, yeah. it's, it's a revival of sorts. It seems. Yeah. But it's great, you, seem, uh, you find these uh, kind of truffles of uh, a great musician. You just kind of... It, there oh, there man, are plenty, crazy. there are plenty of them out there. Uh, I think Rod's story is interesting. I mean, you know, he, he music is, I'm sure, is his real passion in life. But uh, my guess is he did pretty well in these video games. I don't know anything about video games, but if, if, you, <laughs> know, if you recognize the name... No, and you I recognize mean, that's, the name, that's pretty big The deal. Hobbit's a pretty big name. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's probably alone. done well, and, uh, uh, you know, he, he lives in North Carolina, yeah. I believe, and... Uh, He's got a, I think he's got a place down the Cape, and he, you know, he comes up here often, you know, fairly often, especially in the summer. And uh, so he has, you know, he has a number of gigs around here. And it just we were fortunate enough awesome. to be able to get him, you know, get him here, uh, you know, when he's when he's in, in the neighborhood. Yes. Uh, he's actually going to be the day before in Lowell at a, a venue I go to a lot called the Hearing Room on uh, Chelmsford Street in Lowell. Uh, if anybody wants to get a second dose of rod <laughs> uh he'll he'll be there i'll probably be there too uh, if i'm from if from if I'm around nice. uh so um yeah that's, nice. that's the story that'll be good and you can check out more about uh the performing artist series on are you guys on facebook or do you have a uh, website well the, the the north reading community coffee house has a facebook page and we put the uh information about from the that. coffee house and the performing artist series on that in fact, you reminded me I got to do another post. I'm not a, I'm not a Facebook whiz, <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, but I, I have to do some more publicity. For that. But people can find information on there, and yes, they can get on their email list uh, through there, or, uh, or just emailing. Uh, uh, if, if 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 anybody's interested in either learning more or getting on the email list, uh, best thing is to contact me at uh, nrcoffeehouse at gmail dot com. That's the best way to. To, to get me. Oh. And Allie, is there anything else you'd like to add and or how to contact you with the transcript for anything if you want people yeah. to contact you? Um, if, if people want to contact me, they could reach me at um, a haste, so H A S T 358 at mail.endicott.edu. Um, but yeah, I was like Art was saying, like this is a great event and I definitely encourage people to go 
to it. I, this will be my first time going oh, to nice. one, so I'm really excited to like get to see him in person. So. Oh, you could I imagine you did a phone interview or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I haven't actually seen him perform live yet, but I've heard some of his music and it's really good. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, thank you both for stopping thank by. Thank you. And, thank you for uh, having us. No worries. And looking forward to it. So uh, Saturday, August 3rd. Yep. at the uh, Flint Memorial Library. And don't forget to check uh, North Running Community Coffee House uh, on Facebook. And feel free to email Allie and Art for more information regarding uh, performances and or uh, stories around town. And so this is Phil from NORCAM. I'm your public access coordinator signing off and take it easy. Mm -hmm.